What up, I'm Devin on deck, and today I'm gonna teach you how to clone yourself in photos. Yes, multiple U's in one photo. U as in you, not like the letter U. You get what I'm saying. Start the intro. Um, Welcome back to Devin on Tech, where I give you how-tos, reviews, and creative talk. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you something that I've been doing since probably 2015, making two of the same person in one photo, seamlessly. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I first made a name for myself on Instagram, where I'm known for my stylish and innovative videos and photos. So I dedicated part of my YouTube to just adding value to y'all on the content side of things and helping you just be more effective in the digital space. So if that sounds good to you, you are in the right place. And if you already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get a notification every time I post a video. So to pull this type of image off, you need a few things. One, a camera. It can be anything as simple as a phone or as fancy as a DSLR. I don't care. Number two, a tripod or a mount of some sort, okay? They also range in price and simplicity. Number three, and last but not least, you need Photoshop or some type of photo editing software. So the first thing you wanna do is mount your camera, okay? It cannot be moving at all whatsoever. And make sure to give yourself enough room in the frame to stand in different places, okay? So for this example, I'm gonna stand here first. Then stand over here, a little bit further back, okay? Maybe like over here maybe. I'm gonna stand over here too. Boom, all right? I'm gonna take these three photos and put them together in Photoshop, all right? It's gonna take me literally one minute to do this. Let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is open up all your images in Photoshop, all right? You got the center here, you got left, and you got right. Now, what I like to call this process is copy, paste, erase, okay? Makes it super easy to remember, and it's actually really quick and really simple to do. So, you wanna start with any image, it doesn't matter. You're gonna Command A, select all, Command C to copy, go over to the other image, I'm gonna go to the left, I'm gonna paste it right over, okay? Command V to paste, bam, it is now pasted. Now, we have two layers in play right now. So layer one up here is the right side, layer two, is the left side, okay? So these are literally layers, almost like you're laying layers of paper on top of each other. And the little eyeballs next to them indicates visibility, all right? So you hit the little eyeball, bam. Now the background's visible, now the foreground is not. So to make it easier for yourself, go ahead and name that top layer right. Bam. Bottom layer, we're gonna name it left. Take an eraser from right, since it's sitting over left. Take an eraser and literally erase the left side, boom. You've officially duplicated yourself one time. Now, we're gonna go to the center dude, and we're gonna use a quick selection tool. It's either gonna be the W on your keyboard, or you can click it up here, that's what it looks like, and we're gonna start selecting me. This is easy for me to do right now because my color of my skin and what I'm wearing do not blend in with the background. This would be a little more difficult if the background was closer to my skin color or closer to what I was wearing, but it isn't, so this is what we're gonna do. And you can be more careful with this if you like, you know, zoom in more, get close in the details, but it's an example, so I'm not gonna be perfect with it, but I wanna make sure you guys know how to do this. And you can also use the pen tool to really get those minute details as well. You already know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna have a little card come out on the top right here. Go ahead and click that. It's about making sneakers float, but it teaches you how to use the pen tool and it's a really simple process. So if you want a little walkthrough with that, that's a perfect video to watch to learn how to get really close details. But right now, I'm just gonna use a quick selection tool because the contrast is apparent. Okay, cool. So same thing we did before, Command C to copy. Go over to this one and Command V to paste. Put it back down to where it was. And we have three Devins in one photo. Booyah! That is it, you're done. Well, so there you have it. Now you know exactly how I clone myself in images. And now you're empowered to go make your own. Now team on deck, you already know what I'm about to ask you. I wanna see your version of this. I wanna see you take it to the stars, to the moon, further, higher heights than I just did right now. Challenge yourself, or just do a really simple one. I don't care, just make sure you send it to me, okay? I'm looking for the hashtag, always, 
team on deck, so use that hashtag, or DM it to me, tweet it to me, email it to me, I don't care how you get it to me, I want to see it, I want to share it with the world, I wanna give you props, applause, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, feedback, comments, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video at all, or learned anything, make sure you give your man a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I appreciate your time as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.